So one of the key things that we're going to be doing with our animation is rotation. Uh, if you've got arms, legs that you want to move, um, just rotating them can be enough to do what we want. So let me just try um, rotating, let's say, the star up there. So if we want the star to rotate, um, then it's going to need to spin around the center of the star. So if I go and find the star right here, I got it selected. You can see where the anchor point is right now. It's way down here. So I'm pressing R for rotation or just expand the layer and you'll see it has transform properties right here that if we open up we've got some familiar looking transform properties. Anchor point, the position with an X and a Y, the scale, the rotation, and opacity. If we want to get rotation changing, I can click on that second number. The X means how many times it's spinning around. So you want to be sure and change the second number. And you can see how the star is rotating around that center point. Now, when I want it to go back to its original position, I don't try and move it exactly back. I go kind of crazy and then use my control Z undo. Let the computer do the replacement. So I need to put this anchor point up there, but you can see if I just grab it with my main tool right here, it moves the whole thing. And you have to do this anchor point change before we put any keyframes on that particular layer. The trick here is this particular icon, pan behind. So this actually says anchor point tool on it. And that lets us just move this anchor point to the center of the object where we want to rotate. Right now, this is set to fit. So as I make my preview window, window smaller or larger, I can see that larger or smaller as well. However, I'm going to go to 100% and use my space bar, which is this little hand tool, and just move it down so I can see this a little bit better. Now this is still turned on. That's the tool I'm using. So I can just position this a little bit better and then go to my rotation. Now if you learn some of these keyboard shortcuts, it can make it a lot easier. R for rotation will show us just the rotation value. And I can see how I can make that star spin around in place. So I'm going to again, control Z undo and just put it back to zero. So let's change anchor points on some of these different parts while we're zoomed in to 100%. Let's start with the eyes. Now I'm gonna make the eyes blink. And so that's gonna be a change in scale. So I can press the S key on there when I've got eyes um, selected, S for scale. And you can see that if I reduce their size, they're going down to that anchor point and that's not going to work. Control Z undo and let's put our anchor point. Again, this is still highlighted and put it right in between those eyes so that when it scales, it'll go towards that point. Now, blinking doesn't mean moving the eyes. So the little trick here is going to be unlinking the horizontal and the vertical so that now I can see that by scaling just the vertical, I can make the eyes get really big. I can make them get small and go back. So that is the animation that I'm um, gonna do. So I'm gonna make it crazy again and control Z undo and move on to the next thing that I wanna change the anchor point. Here's the head and I want the head to be right about there where it's rotating around. You can press R really quick and like kind of just check your rotation, make sure it's going to work and control Z undo that. Now the horn, I don't know that I'll spin it or anything, but while I'm here, I'm just going to put anchor points for each of these things. So this is the second set of ears. I think it would be pretty funny to rotate those. So I may not, but more or less right there. Uh, the right ear and the left ear, I wanted to have those move separately. So I'm going to move this to my right ear. If you get the wrong ear, you'll know that right away if you press R for rotation. You're like, whoa, that's rotating around the wrong point. Hold on a second. Moving that over here and choosing. It doesn't have to be on the object itself. It could be slightly off. 
How do we know that? Well, we can hide the head in order to see that a little better. And then uh, rotation there. So we can make the ears like be down and then go up there. Special sound effects there. Let me bring the head back so you can see how that would work. So at the beginning, maybe the ears will be down and then it hears something and they perk up. So the original location, it, it's not as important sometimes. Maybe we can just go ahead and put it in its starting place down here. So it looked like a floppy eared creature to start with. Let's do that left ear right here. So we've got the same thing. We're going to move the um, rotation point, press R, and rotate that down. So if that goes up to there, that'll work pretty good. So more floppy eared to start with. Maybe even move that over. So how am I going to move that without changing the anchor point? Just temporarily use my main selector and just kind of move it to there and then check that rotation on the left ear so it can perk up. Just making some changes to the original drawing by positioning it more or less how I want it here. So that is your first job is to move the anchor points for each of the different objects that you've got. Remember spacebar will let you pan around. So I'm going to be quiet now and just finish up my rotation point. Okay, so now that I've got all of those done, I'm going to put this back on fit. And I'm going to put my tool back over to my main selection tool. As with most of Adobe programs, V is the main selection tool. So that keyboard shortcut can be pretty handy. So each of these now has its anchor point in a different spot. Uh, clicking directly on them is not the same as selecting the layer. So I'm just going to go down. You can see all of the anchor points have been moved. And again, before you start keyframing something, you want to make sure that's really where you want the anchor point to be. Now I've got all of these different uh, transform properties open on here. I'm going to press Control A to select all of them. And I'm going to use the U key. It's time to introduce that. The U key is going to reveal any anchor point any keyframes and then hide all of them as well so i'm pressing u again and it is opening up the transform properties that have been changed so i'm going to just collapse them all so that i can see all the layers for the next step 